Welcome back. So this is day six of the axe refurbishment or restoration or repurposing series. Today we're gonna to try something a little different. We're gonna do some gun bluing, hopefully to one of these axes. Hopefully at the end of this video, we have another three axes available. I also have some that haven't sold. So if you're interested in one, take a look at the website. I will ship those out ASAP, get them to you. But for now, let's jump in the shop, take a look at these axes. Roll out there then. Cheerio, deario. Oh, I didn't tell them about this. Oh, sweet deal. So yesterday I said that there might be some Black Hawk hatchets coming available. So today, yes, today, today, I'm gonna have one available on the website. Yes, I'm super excited about that. I'll show you more at the end of this video. We'll do some closing shots on that. So we've got it feels like we're starting to come down to kind of the end and we're starting to get into the, the final run, which is gonna be really fun. We got some really special axes coming up. So today we've got these three axes and these are old Swedish steel. There's no markings on this one that I can see as of yet, but it's green paint. Looks Swedish, I was told it's Swedish. Yeah, that's an old ax. Look at the top there. We're gonna do some cleanup work on that for sure. That's very, very cool. So that'll be fun. And then this one as well. This one actually does have markings on it. Wait. Right. Yeah, it's got the two and a quarter pounds in there stamped in. So I won't be, I wouldn't be surprised if we see something come up on that one as we get into it. And then this is a nice, I just really like the profile of this one. At this point, I don't see any markings on it. Probably an American made ax and I wanna play with this one too. So let's get into it. I feel like I could just pull it out. Oh, it's actually got a little bit of bite on there still. Okay, I can get it out over here. Oh, what a little surprise. I thought that was just gonna come right on out. I gotta go cut it now. Okay, I'll be back. Ah. Okay, I actually want to know. So plastic poxy. Is there even a wedge in there? There is a wedge in there. We should start doing that, Martin. Start putting a poxy on top of our uh, handles. It really shows the quality of work. That doesn't come out. Quitting. Going home. See you. Bye. There's nothing. Wait. I forgot my coffee, hang on. Okay, I'm gone. One hour later. I need to eat food tonight, I'm back. Next time, I'll hold the camera and you can work, okay? Everybody says that's normally what happens. <laughs> this is the, uh, one of the Swedish ones, two and a quarter. So this one I was, I'm gonna start wire wheeling it, but this is a very interesting ax. It's not marked, but I'm so certain it's Swedish because of the green paint and the shape of it. But look at how beat up this one is on the inside. There's actually like a lip. Don't know what this ax was used for to be like that. This side's beat up too. So I'm gonna grind both sides, wire wheel it, we'll get it cleaned up. It'll become a really beautiful axe. Something that I also thought maybe I should quickly talk about is I've seen a couple of you mentioned in the comments like, oh Tim, how come you're not um, heat treating these guys? And heat treating an axe would be something that I would never do unless I knew it would been has been through like a fire or something because the only way that a, a steel axe like this would lose its temper, become soft, is if it got hot. Because I don't know what kind of steel exactly this is, it would be a really big hit and miss or trial thing to tune it in. So as long as the axe has been cold, which like axes always are cold, unless they've been through a fire, you would never go into the heat treating. So you can, and some of them, these ones could be fully hardened. Actually it's not because of the back, but I mean the, the what, some of them you can see where they hardened it up, how far and it's usually way up into here. So you got lots of groom. So there's absolutely no need to do that. So even this guy, we're gonna grind it down everywhere. It's gonna be just, just hunky-dory. So I'm just 
finished wire wheeling it here. This is a very old axe. And the reason I know that is because if you look at this side, the pitting is extremely heavy on this side. And this side is almost smooth. And this was the side that had the paint. So it was lying in the ground like this for a very long time. Because this is where it got eroded more deep pitting on this side compared to the other side. I like that. I think that's cool. It tells a story of this axe, even though we don't know the story of it, you know? Okay, doing the weigh-in here. Two and a half pounds right there, pretty much. That's the unmarked one. And then this one should be two and a quarter as well. Oh, it's 2.38, nice. Is that two and a quarter? Maybe that says two and a half. It's light of two and a half and heavy of two and a quarter, but very cool. That'll work for us. All right, let's get grinding these guys. All right, so check this out. Look at that, how cool does that look? I'm gonna first let Martin um, get the handle prep for this, and then we are gonna get that all fitted up, and then we're gonna gun blue this guy. It's, uh, it's not a mirror finish, but I really like the way that looks. Martin, I'll just leave it here for you, okay? Let me see, Martin, let me see. It just, it just cracked? And like, were you putting a lot of force on it or? That is so crazy. That, that had to happen to the ax that I put the most time into too, right? Like this is the only one I've ground like this. Classic, classic. Let me show these guys what's going on. This okay, so here's what's happened. So look at this. This is the shined up ax here. Martin was just putting the handle on. He was just pressing it on. And he hears a ting. Look at that. Can you see that? It's cracked. It didn't go through to the side, but we're definitely not letting that ax go out the house. That is so crazy. That's actually super interesting because I always preach that when I punch my eyes and make the drift that there's no cold shut or collapsing of the eye at the end of it. And that's for the exact reason of that, but I've never seen it actually happen. That is so crazy. Okay, I guess there's only gonna be two axes today. Oh man, I really wanted to gun blue that one. So I'm not quite sure, like at, at first I was gonna write this off, I'd just been looking at it and thinking about it, like we could actually cut it down like this and then come in and keep the blade the full length, but cut out that grind, like cut out that cracked part, make it a smaller on the back, kind of like a little bit bigger of a blade. I'm not sure I want to do that. So I'm going to actually just leave that to think on that. Today we'll probably just put out the two videos, or sorry, not two videos, two axes. And uh, we might come back to that. We'll see how things go here. We've got some pretty fun axes coming up, so I don't want to spend too much time on this one. So just got the pictures of them finished up here. They look really good in this light. Wow, that's a sweet looking shot right there. I'm just gonna grab a picture of that. Save that one for the books. So this is a Swedish two and a half pound head. There's no marking on that says Swedish. It had green paint on it. It looks like a Swedish ax. Very confident about that. 24 inch handle. Wow, I just want to grab a picture of that too. The lighting is killer today. This is another Swedish axe. This one has no markings on it. It did have the green paint hidden in the deep crevices on it. This one's a little bit fatter, but a little bit lighter. 24 inch handle on that one as well. Really cool little pair. Pretty, pretty stoked about these guys. Not gonna lie. So yesterday I'd mentioned there was gonna be some Blackhawk hatchets coming available and actually that's not gonna be the case. What, the, what it was is we had about three that were left over from when we made them earlier this year. And we thought we could fix them, but as uh, we got into looking at them and 
we just uh, didn't feel good about them. There was a couple of things that just weren't right. So that is gonna be a write-off for those. So we're not gonna have those available, which is unfortunate. So it'll just be these refurbished axes here. Uh, these guys that we finished today, and then we have a couple more are available on my website, timothydick.com. Link is in the description below. And uh, I think that's gonna be it for me today. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And until then, keep that forge lit, hey? It's not quite right, is it? It's uh, keep the forge lit, hey? There it is. Okay, see you in the next one.